Bendiciones, hermanos. Quiero compartir con ustedes una revelación que me dio el Señor acerca de una roca que va a caer en la tierra. Y esta revelación fue a través de dos sueños. En el primer sueño escuché una voz que me dijo, Hija, prepárense porque gran calamidad viene a la tierra. En ese momento me asomé a la ventana porque escuché a un grupo de personas hablando. De pronto escuchamos un ruido muy fuerte y al mirar al otro lado eh, observamos una gran roca de fuego que venía hacia la tierra. En ese momento yo corrí para advertir a mis familiares y escuchamos un gran estruendo y vino un fuerte temblor. En el segundo sueño yo veía la roca, pero yo era la única que veía la roca. Y estaba en el cielo, estaba muy cerca, cubría todo el cielo. No entendía yo por qué, sola, solo yo la veía. Hermanos, preparémonos. El Señor está dando tiempo para que guardemos alimentos, para que guardemos agua, medicamentos, abrigo, velas, linternas, elementos de aseo. Preparémonos, hermanos, que el Señor los bendiga. For a long time. The Lord has been confirming this judgment, as well as his soon return to countless servants, watchmen, children, people of all ages, even to non-believers and of many nationalities. Many of them had already received revelations, dreams, and visions before Efraín Rodríguez started to speak of this judgment. Even now, many of you who now listen to this message have received dreams, revelations, and confirmations. You know this, and yet many of you have remained silent out of fear of the opinion of your pastor, congregation, family, spouse, friends, or because you prefer to think that it was all your imagination. Read Ezekiel 33 and sound the alarm. Seek the Lord while he can be found. Return to his arms. Alert and warn others. And do not trust that you will go in the rapture and that you will not see any judgment simply because you say, Lord, Lord. The Lord is demanding repentance and correction within his church first, and also calling the world to turn to Yeshua, the Christ, as their only and exclusive Savior. No other mediators or people, alive or dead, can intercede, mediate, save, forgive, or protect you from this judgment or from eternal damnation. None. Turn from hope in faith. Turn from hope or faith on other things or people. It is idolatry. Since most do not listen to his loving call, the Lord will bring a catastrophe to bring his church to her knees before, during, and after. So she will be worthy to go in the rapture. And so she will be a light to the world that remains after this event. This is not the end of the world. Many things need to happen to fulfill the entirety of Scripture before the end. Many times in the Bible, God warned his people before his judgment, so they would repent and be prepared. God is love, but he is also a consuming fire against sin and evil. Humble yourself before him and ask him, If this warning comes from him ask him with a contrite and humble heart you will not get an answer if you ask him in arrogance share this warning with others only God knows the time of fulfillment of this event but dreams visions have been pouring out in increased numbers the Lord is warning his children if you want to see more of these testimonies Go to our Spanish page called Un Llamado y Amonestación del Señor. There you will see countless videos in addition to the ones on this page in Spanish. Most of them have closed captions, so you can turn on the English closed caption and read what is being said. Also, if you're new to these pages, please watch the video that is pinned at the top of all the videos on our YouTube channel. It is titled, For Those of You Who Are New to This Message. It is very important that you watch it to understand 
what the message of this page is all about. If you would like the documents pertaining to this prophecy in writing to be sent to your email, please write an email to asteroidprophecy at gmail.com requesting them so you can study them calmly, asking the confirmation of the Holy Spirit as you read. Thank you.